Hello students, I am back with a video of Ohm's law. We have already done Ohm's law but uh, some students have requested to draw the graph of Ohm's law and uh, post it so I am doing the same. So look at this, this is Ohm's law. Uh, we have got serial number, current, reading the one which I have taken in the video then followed by potential difference the same reading is there and then we have got a resistance which is v upon i and that is 1600 upon 50 32 3200 upon 100 is 32 all these you can see that the v upon i is equal to r which is constant okay so this we are supposed to show in the graph paper all right very easy don't need to panic now if you look at this alongside i have a graph paper okay now graph paper what i have done is with the help of a pencil and scale I mean ruler what i have done is i have drawn two axes okay so this is my y axis right and this is x axis so here is a y axis and this has become x axis now what happens is y axis i have taken potential difference which is in millivolt okay Look at this heading here, we've got potential difference which is in millivolt. So I have taken on y axis potential difference as millivolt. Look at this here, I have x axis which is out there, there I have current which is in milliampere. Okay, what you need to do is first you need to de decide scale for it. So look at this here, scale on x axis is 1 centimeter is equal to 25 milliampere. Okay and y, y axis I have taken 1 centimeter as 800 millivolt so it means that one block okay this is 1 centimeter okay I have taken 25 so 2 centimeters become my 50 so I am taking little uh, gap so that my graph looks better so this will become 50 again 2 centimeter 100 again after 2 centimeter 150 again after 2 centimeter I have 200 so the, these gaps are up to 2 cm right the same thing I have taken here also you can see that I uh, mentioned there in the scale that 1 cm is 800 so look at this here one block is 800 but I have taken two blocks that has become 1600 followed by 3200 and then 4800 and 6400 so this I have plotted on that is y axis now what you need to do is nothing but you need to take this x axis that is 50 and you're supposed to take this uh, uh, 1600 okay you have to decide the common point of these two and this is the common point of these two so you just put a dot and circle that then go for the 100 and next is 3200 here again decide the common point where they meeting put a dot circle it followed by the next one is 150 and this is 4800 again decide the common point and put the dot and circle it and then this uh, 200 and followed by this is 6400 the meeting at a common point and that will be the point for uh, this one okay the last one now what you need to do is you have got these points you just join all the points when you join all the points you will find that this line is actually passing to origin and since this is a straight line which is also called as linear graph and that is why we come to know that this Ohm's law is verified because how do we get linear graph we can only get a linear graph when these two quantities that is potential difference and the current they are varying in the same proportion they are directly proportional to each other then only you are going to get the graph like this that is a straight line or linear graph that says that the potential difference is directly proportional to current and same goes in the ohm's law right ohm's law says that potential difference is directly proportional to the current provided physical conditions of the conductor remains unchanged that is same okay not only this if even if you want to find out okay suppose you want to find out the uh, is my graph gives you the reading of 
of that is 32 you can find that also not in your syllabus but I'll just show you how to find out what you can do is you can select any two point either this two point or this two point any two point suppose I select these two point right this point and this point so you can see that I have already a dotted line like this this part I just joined okay so I join that part here okay now I join this part now what do I do is I have the two points here which is going to be 100 comma y axis 3200 here also I have two points that is one is 50 comma 1600 okay then there is a formula called slope okay so slope says that it's y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 basically it is called y upon x so now what is y2 y2 now look at this here readings okay here the first one 100 is x1 this is y1 x2 and this is y2 okay or other way around you can go for this is x1 y1 first it is then it is x2 y2 so what just need to subtract here 3200 minus of 1600 upon here is if I say this is x2 which is 100 minus 50 so this has become 1600 divided by 50 and shunya shunya chu 5 1s are 5 3s are 15 and 5 2s are 9 so answer is come as 32 ohm so what is your slope is 32 ohm and which is nothing but your resistance this is all about your graph of ohm's law thank you thank you very much